time for our 102B portfolio. This was the architecture studio that I had second semester. For this studio, we had two projects, project one and project two. But project one was divided into three project, project one A, project one B, project one C, and then project two brought it all together. This is what I'm talking about with the cumulative structure of this course. So project A, what you started with that was relevant to project two and we carry the concept all the way along. Project one was called New Primitives. For this studio, we focused on the primitive hut, the primitive cave, and the primitive tent. So defining what we think is a primitive structure. We started with finding primitive shape. We were given a building or a site, and we had to find primitive shapes from the section drawing or the plan drawing, elevation drawing of that. Site. I got the Hussier Library by OMA. They have a very cool section that the library is known for. I took that section and I got a bunch of primitive shapes from that. Yeah, and that was just Project 1A. Project 1B, we then took those shapes and we made them into model. While doing so, we were supposed to think about the concept of a tent, a hut, and a cave and use those shapes to make it in that way. My first model was very successful, but then after that, I started kind of um, losing a plan. I thought it was a little bit hard to develop an idea, just slapping shapes together, but eventually I think I got the hang of it. After all these models, we went ahead and we decided what we wanted to be our tent, our cave, and our hut and describe what we thought defined those objects as tent, cave, and hut. And then we went ahead and took those and did oblique drawings for them and to, sh to show um, how we use the shapes. For mine, I did double oblique drawings, so I showed um, the sides stretched in different directions. I did a warm side view, um, plan the oblique uh, drawing. I also did a elevation kind of view of showing the elevations of my model, how they connect together and also to show my shapes. And my uh, professor was very proud of these drawings and I was proud of these drawings as well. I thought they uh, came out pretty well. Next we have project 1C, which is the cave, the tent and the hut. From here, we really started to take our models and kind of define them more, scale them up depending on the scale that they gave us for the tent, the cave and the hut. Um, making them bigger, making them smaller in terms of um, how humans interact with them and then putting them on a site to kind of define them more. Here I have my cave drawing, has a section of it. Um, these drawings I thought were really fun to do. Well, I was happy with how they came out. This hair was the plan cut of it. And then finally we have a elevation. And then next we have the tent. Um, yeah, I kind of just changed it some, I changed one of the material to kind of give it more of that tent feel. And because of how my shapes were, I kind of put, I kind of gave them a little bit more movement to give my volumes more of a like performative <laughs> aspect. Finally, we have the hut. I really like how these drawings came out. There we have the hut section view on the site. Have the uh, hut plan cut. And then finally, we have the elevations. That was the uh, smaller one. Finally, after all of this, we get to project two, which was the final project for the semester, which was called Figures on the Ground. So we, there was a site that we were given, um, a site on Venice Beach, and that was divided up and given to different people in the studio. The site had like a parking lot section, a beach section, and then a ocean section. So we took our figure grounds from the first project and we used them to develop the site for the beach line, the parking lot, the uh, bike trail, and all of that. I really liked how my figure ground drawings came out. But then after that, when it came to the to picking one design to change into like the actual site and change the colors and everything, I kind of lost a lot of the ideas and everything that I had. Okay, and then for our models, um, we took the hut, the cave, and the tent. We had to go through this whole process of Boolean intersection, Boolean union, cutting, dividing, all that kind of jazz to get to our final forms. We then worked around and whatnot to fix to make it more of a 
building. And from there, our hut had to turn into a lifeguard tower, our cave had to turn into a restaurant, and our tent had to turn into a parking lot kiosk. So this is how my beach site came out with the parking lot, the kiosk and all that jazz, the beach. And so now we have the fine views of the buildings. My professor really liked these drawings. He thought these were my best drawings I did all semester. But little did he know that people didn't think that way. I'll explain that further on. So here's the lifeguard tower. We have a elevation view a section cut and then for the restaurant here is a elevation well perspective view of the building has a cut section view of restaurant and then finally the kiosk you have the perspective and then you have the cut section and this is the cut section of the entire site now this review was the worst review i did for the entire year it was hurt it hurt a lot um the one professor I did not want to come to the review came to the review. She slammed my project. She slammed dunked me. It hurts. It was painful. I couldn't wait to leave. I wanted to cry. I talked about that in my other video. You can go take a look at that if you want. And that was the final project. And uh, my professor said it was he liked it, but I guess some people didn't feel the same way. And it hurt. But after all of that, I was proud of the work I did, even though I understood what the jury was talking about. And I have a lot of stuff that I agree. I should have changed and showed that differently. But that's the end of that portfolio. And those were the portfolios for my first year in architecture school. Um, looking back at them, I'm very happy about the major that I've chose. It's a lot of work, a lot of thinking, but I, I think it's pretty rewarding in the end when you get to do work um, like this. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like. If you have any more questions or want to know more about the work that I did, feel free to leave a comment or you can message me directly on my Instagram, which I also left in the description box, but also here. Or here. I would love to hear about your first year architecture experience, so please leave a comment or once again message me on Instagram. I love to discuss architecture things with you all. Um, a lot of people ask to see my portfolio and whatnot, so I decided to, you know, this video to show you so if you have any more requests or any other videos you want me to film also message me but as for now that's it for this wonderful day day i hope you had a good day because i did all right thank you for watching bye